Did you know that the very fibers inside your muscles determine whether you'll become the next powerlifting champion or the next person in the gym with the bulging biceps that tends to turn heads? Fast twitch fibers and slow twitch fibers. These tiny threads hold the secret to size and strength. But are you training them the right way? Today we'll take a deep dive into how these fibers work and at the end, you may well question everything you knew about muscle building. So let's get into it. I'm Simon from the Deep South Experiment podcast, and here we get stuck into muscle building, fat loss, and the mindset around it all. This is video one in a series centered around strength versus hypertrophy. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series and the main video that explores this topic and other associated topics. In this episode, we're focusing on two key players in the world of strength and hypertrophy. That's slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. If you've ever wondered why some people in the gym seem to be naturally strong and some are able to naturally build muscle size with ease, the explanation for this might well lie in these types of muscle fibers. So fast twitch muscle fibers, you must think explosive power. They're all about strength and speed. Slow twitch muscle fibers are endurance champions. They keep you going for long runs and help you sustain levels of low intensity activity for longer periods of time. Here's the fascinating part. Both muscle fibers contribute to strength and size, but they do so in very different ways. Fast twitch muscle fibers are your strength building machines designed for high force but over a shorter duration. Think about a heavy deadlift that lasts just a few seconds. Fast twitch muscle fibers have a larger diameter and the potential to grow significantly, which means they contribute to hypertrophy. Picture a power lifter grinding out one rep of max on a squat. They're relying almost entirely on fast switch muscle fibers to generate that enormous burst of power that's required. Slow twitch muscle fibers are more resistant to fatigue. They're smaller in diameter, they don't generate as much force. And here's where it gets interesting. Although slow twitch muscle fibers aren't growth prone like fast switch muscle fibers, they still play a role in hypertrophy, especially in athletes who train for volume and endurance. Think of a long distance runner who also gains strength. Their slow switch muscle fibers allow them to push through high rep sets, contributing to a more defined look. So, how do you target these fibers in your training? Well, for fast switch muscle fibers, focus on heavy weights, lower reps, and more explosive movements. For slow twitch muscle fibers, incorporate higher reps and therefore lighter weights. Here's a question for you. Are you training a way that maximizes the potential of both fibers or are you neglecting one without realizing it? By switching your training between the two, you'll probably have an opportunity for rest. And here's where the science develops another layer. Your muscle fiber composition is largely genetic. Some people are born with more fast twitch muscle fibers, making them naturally explosive and strong. Others are slow twitch dominant, giving them an edge in endurance activities. But, and this is a big but, can you train your fibers to adapt? Over time, fast twitch muscle fibers can improve their endurance and slow twitch muscle fibers can become slightly more powerful. So what does all this mean for your training? Should you focus on what you're genetically gifted with? Or can you create a strategy to transform your weaker fibre type into a bit of a secret weapon? In this next episode in our series, we'll dive into how beginners in the gym can experience rapid strength gains and the role of muscle fibres in that incredible process. So don't miss it. Thanks for tuning in to the Deep South Experiment. If you have found today's episode helpful, please share it, please like, please subscribe if you feel inclined. And remember, understanding the science of strength and hypertrophy is the first step to achieving your dream physique. We'll catch you next time.